Hey, how's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another sound design tutorial in Logic Pro X. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and make a really cool cello sound. So let's get started. Uh, first, we're gonna wanna go to our instrument rack. We're gonna go down to Sculpture, Stereo, cool. And we're gonna go to one of our tutorial settings. So tutorial, default, and this is what the default sound sounds like. Okay, but in no time flat, we'll have this sounding like a cello. So first thing that we're going to want to do is go to our object one, select bow. And next, we're going to want to go to our transpose over here at the top, two octaves down. That should be fine. Ah, now it sounds a lot more like a cello. Cool. Okay, cool. So now uh, we have our basic fundamentals of what a cello kind of sounds like, but we're going to tweak this up a bit and kind of fine tune it and make it sound even better. Uh, so next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our transition mod and bring this, bring this up a bit, maybe to around 20 or so. Nice. We're going to go to our Velo Send and bring this to around 40. Okay, 40 or point 41 is fine enough. Nice. Now we're going to go to pickup A and bring this to around 90. Okay, cool. We're going to get um, object one and we're going to move this around 48. And that should that should be fine right there. Let's get object Hey, and bring this to 90. Let's see if that improves a little bit. Yeah, that made it a little bit deeper. Cool. So we're almost done. We're gonna go down to our body EQ and we'll audition a couple of uh, different presets here. Let's go ahead and check out the double bass one. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. Don't like that very much. Let's check out cello one. Uh, I like it, but I, I kind of like double bass one a little bit more. This is sounding a, a, a little bit more, I could hear the mids a little bit more on that one. Let's hear our violin. You know what, we're going to stick stick with double bass one. I like it because uh, it has a nice big sound. Uh, we'll bring our intensity down though a little bit. Maybe around 80 should be nice. Cool. We'll bring our shift up a bit. Not, that sounds about right. Let's go ahead and check out our stretch. And as you can see, uh, this fine structure right here, the waveforms are changing a little bit. They're morphing. And that sounds cool right there. Next, we're going to go to our fine structure, which will also change this uh, waveform structure a bit. Awesome, I, I like it already. So now we're just gonna do things to kind of make this sound a little bit more fuller. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to our stereo spread, which is gonna kind of help the sound in our stereo spectrum, make it uh, yet again bigger. If you're wearing headphones, you could definitely hear the differences. Right there, I like it right there. Cool. And finally, we're going to go to our level limiter and select both. All right, very cool. So that's how you make a cello sound uh, using some sound design and structure in Logic Pro X. Of course, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Yeah.